All right, everyone. This is the first of many in a series of how to set up your own grid on a professional server. Now you can use these same um, techniques on your own home server, uh, providing you have your ports and everything configured right to do that. But on a professional server, it's pretty easy because it's all done for you. It opens the ports as you need, and it's just sweetness. So first off, you need a server. So let's go and get that which I recommend showyoustart.com so here we are at showyoustart.com we're going to click the dedicated servers and we're going to go under essential dedicated servers now for the best bang for your buck would be the E3 SATA 3 okay this one here it has quite a bit of power for the dollar so you go ahead and order that uh, the next stage here is going to choose your setup plan because it does cost us uh, it's sixty dollars I believe uh, you can pay for one time fee. If, if you pay for the whole year, it's zero dollars. Uh, if you, I don't know why it's a zero for me there, but you can split it up over six months um, if you choose to do so. So, anyways, you go through here and you continue, and ultimately it's going to send you an email saying, Thank you for ordering a server. Uh, and it's going to direct you to go back to this website here. And then it's going to say, Click on the control panel, which is up here. So once there, you're going to go log in. And in that email they sent you, it's going to be the information that you need to log in with. So we're going to go ahead and log in to my account, uh, providing I can remember. There, perfect, first time. All right, so if you haven't logged into here before, it's going to say, welcome to your new server, and it's going to have a big little pointy box over here that says, install now. Now, if you haven't put an uh, uh, operating system on, uh, it does have some, a bunch included, ultimately. Um, when you purchase it, it's free to use, the open source ones. But if you want Windows, for say, like I use, you have to either have your own um, edition or SPA key, uh, or you can order one here. And it's, I believe it's $25 a month. So what you would do is choose the IP you want to order it for, and then you would go ahead and choose the operating system and can, you know, finish placing it. Um, once that's done, you can then install it, which is as simple as clicking here, following the on-screen instructions. Uh, and once it's finished, after about 20 minutes, it'll send you another email saying, congratulations on your successful setup of blah, blah, blah. It's going to give you the IP address, and it's going to give you a, a password, a temporary password to log in. With. So what you do then is you come down here, and you open up your remote desktop, and you enter that. IP address in this area here. Or you can use your FQDN, uh, skylifegrid.com, which is the one to that server. Uh, if you don't know how to set up an FQDN, it's all done to your host hosting company, and it's very simple. I can cover that in another video if you don't know. But anyways, here we are. We have this, so we're going to connect. Normally, it's going to ask you for your login credentials, password and stuff and that's where the email comes in enter the info and log into your server you're gonna have a blank server okay once you get in here this isn't blank it's got a whole bunch of junk running in the background but uh, we're gonna pretend it's blank so first thing we got our server yay 